Today's topic, manifest money by letting go of money. And I can already hear your screams. <gasps> letting go of money. No, my money. I want to manifest money. Why should I let go of it? No. That's exactly why. Because when I think back to the time when I first learned about the fact that money is energy and that energy wants to flow, I had the exact same reaction. I still remember this conversation with one of my spiritual mentors when she told me, yeah, you know, Sebastian, you also have to let money flow out of your experience. Money is an energy and energy wants to flow. And this was at a point in my life where I had just experienced my first money manifestation. I was so excited. I was so thrilled that I finally increased my income in my own business, even though month before and years before I've never made that much money. And here was my mentor who told me, you have to allow the money to flow out. And I thought to myself, are you crazy? I just got that money. I want to put it in my savings account. I want to keep it there forever. I was basically like Scrooge McDuck. And I thought to myself, oh, every dollar that I make, I have to keep it. I have to keep it. I can't really let it go. And then the inevitable happened. Suddenly, I had a hard time manifesting money. And I thought to myself, oh no, oh, the money supply is stopping. What's happening there? Then I talked to my spiritual mentor again. And guess what she said? Sebastian, you know. Money is energy, and energy wants to flow. And that's why I want to annoy you with the exact same words today. Because these words changed my life. Money is energy, and energy wants to flow. Think about for a moment what you are doing when you are holding on to the money that you are manifesting. Just imagine the following situation. You ask the universe for $10,000, and then you manifest the $10,000, and then you say to yourself, oh, now I have my $10,000. I can't let go of this money. I have to keep this money. This is my money. You are basically a little bit like Gollum in The Lord of the Rings and you go, my precious, my precious. And you're looking at your money. You don't want to let go of it. What are you doing right now in this moment? Do you manifest more money with this attitude? Of course not. You are creating the ultimate definition of a scarcity and lack mindset, which is the complete opposite of what you want. You want to live in abundance. You want to have an abundance mindset. You want to feel financially abundant. But do you think any millionaire out there who is truly wealthy and successful looks at his money and says, oh, I can't spend my money. No, I don't want to buy this. Ah, I don't want to get this now. No, 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 that's way too expensive. Oh, God, the money. Of course not. People who live in true financial abundance, they also allow money to flow out. And this is actually one of the biggest misconceptions that so many people have about wealthy people. That they are, oh, these greedy bastards. That's only what the news and what movies and TV shows tell you about. I know a lot of successful people and they are amazing human beings. They are very, very, very passionate about charities, about giving to people, about giving back, about investing in themselves. They let money flow out all the time. And the more they allow themselves to let go of money, the more money they will receive. Because what happens when you do what I did in the past when then suddenly I wasn't able anymore to manifest more money, when you do that and you hold on to it, you desperately hold on to it, then you create a lack and scarcity mindset. And when you feel lack, when you feel scarcity, then you create resistance and resistance stops you from manifesting what you truly want, which in this case is more money. And of course, please don't understand this the wrong way. Letting go of money and letting money flow out doesn't mean reckless spending. If you, for example, are in the position right now where you say, hey, Sebastian, I would love to book a Skype coaching session with you. I would love to receive your advice and your help when it comes to manifesting my dreams. Then I say, yes, I'm happy to help you unless you have to go into credit card debt just to afford a coaching session with me. Then I would tell you to not book this session with me. And I know that other coaches would try to convince you, but I believe this is ethically wrong. And I also believe that this is spiritually wrong, or let's say it's a spiritual mistake. Because if you want to, for example, invest in a Skype coaching session with me, but by investing in this Skype coaching session, you will feel anxiety. You don't know how to pay for your food next month. 
and you then create all this resistance just to have a Skype coaching session with me, that's counterproductive. But if you say, yes, I can afford having this Skype coaching session with you, and I can learn from you without feeling anxiety about money, then you can, of course, click on the link in the description or go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash Skype and invest in your first coaching session with me. I would love to get to know you and to help you. And the same is true for anything else in your life. You always have to think about, does what I want to spend money on help me? Does it support me? Does it benefit me? Or is it something that might even in the worst case destroy me? I mean, if you go into credit card debt because you want to have a coaching session with me, that's a choice that I wouldn't make if I was you. But even if you decide to do it, it won't destroy your life. But what if you say, ha ha, Sebastian told me I should let my money flow out. So now I'm going to snort 10 kilograms of cocaine every day. Because Sebastian told me, let the money flow. I let it flow. Woohoo! This will end up destroying your life. So letting go of money and letting money flow out doesn't mean reckless spending. It means investing in yourself in a way that allows you to grow as a human being, to grow spiritually and to achieve your goals. For example, you invest in high quality food. Since I changed my diet and I no longer eat cheap food, but I eat very healthy and I eat sometimes also organic food, I eat more vegetables and less of all that crap, and sorry if I say it like that, but it's true, all that crap that most people eat in the Western diet, since then I feel better. I'm better at focusing, I'm more creative, and then I can manifest more money. And I also invest a lot in my education and in coaching. I still book coaching sessions with other people who, by the way, charge way more than I do, which makes me think I should actually increase my rates. But anyway, I still invest in myself by doing coaching sessions, by working with spiritual mentors. So yes, investing in yourself is good. Snorting 10 kilograms of cocaine every day is bad. It always depends on how you let the money flow out. And of course, when I talk about letting money flow out, I don't mean that you manifest $3,000 a month and then you let $3,000 or more flow out. That's not what I mean. I'm still very German. I still have a savings account. I'm still very big on investing. It also doesn't mean that you have to spend half of your money on a big flat screen TV every month. <laughs> That's not what I mean. It's always about finding the balance. But there's a difference between letting, for example, 10% or 20% every month flowing out in a way where you help yourself and you might also help other people and between holding on to everything that you manifest and thinking that this is how you get more money because this is the most common misconception that people have about manifesting money is that they believe when I manifested that money, then I keep it because when I have more money now, then I feel rich and wealthy and then I will have more money in the future because then I'm a vibrational match to money. But there's one big reasoning error in this equation and that's when you hold on to the money and you don't let go of the money, then you always have the feeling that you don't have enough. Because otherwise you wouldn't see the need to desperately hold on to it. And if you don't let money flow out, then you will never be able to feel wealthy, no matter how much money you have in your bank account, because you will always be trapped in a mindset of scarcity and lack, because you never allow yourself to let money flow out, and you always hold on to it, desperately hold on to it. And then you are in a mindset of lack and abundance. And then you are not a vibrational match to money, even though you might have more money in your bank account right now than someone else who lets go of the money without feeling guilty, without feeling bad, without feeling anxiety. This person who lets go of the money has an easier time to manifest more money. And you can manifest money by letting go of money in a way that helps people in need and that also raises your vibration and increases your ability to manifest more money or anything else that you want to manifest. Helping others is one of the most selfish, selfless things you can do. It's selfish in a good way and selfless in a good way. It's a win-win. Because when you give to others, you feel great and the other person feels good. So instead of snorting the 10 kilograms of cocaine that I mentioned earlier, why not save the life of somebody who will be forever thankful? Why not improve the life of somebody who has way less than you? And because I'm personally very passionate about giving and about helping others and about supporting charities that I truly believe in, 
I hope that you allow me to mention two charities that I personally support. And if you want, you can then practice letting money flow out and letting go of money by helping people in need. And I do this because I know that there's someone listening to this right now who might have thought about supporting a charity, but maybe you haven't found the right charity. Maybe you're not sure if this charity actually uses your money to support people in need or if it just uses the money for their own salary and maybe even does things with the money that are not charitable at all. And I want to be very clear, this is not a sales pitch. I do not get compensated from these charities in any way. I do not receive any benefit for mentioning them. I just mention them because I support both these charities. And I know that if you give money to these charities, if you support children in need through these charities, the money arrives where it's needed. And the first charity that I support where I actually sponsor a child from their organization is the Amortel organization in Bucharest, Romania. And Amortel spends less than 13% of its income on its overhead expenses, which means that your money that you donate has a lot of impact. And your donation will provide children who have experienced severe trauma with food, with education. And I personally, I sponsor a child from this organization and they provide regular updates. You can join a Facebook group, you can join a WhatsApp group. And the person who operates this charity is a very spiritual person and she's just an amazing woman. I talked to her in person and I can confidently say that this is a charity where the money that you donate has a huge impact on the lives of children who have experienced severe trauma in their lives. And I will leave a link to this charity in the description. And the second charity I want to mention is the Rise Above Foundation in Cebu City in the Philippines. And they have different programs. They have food sharing programs. They have health and hygiene programs, education and internship programs. And I believe in the principle that education is the most important thing in the world. Because if I give somebody a fish, then they are fed for today. But if I show somebody how to fish, then they can feed themselves their whole life. And that's why I sponsor a child in the Philippines in the Rise Above Foundation in Cebu City with the education and internship program. But of course, you can also donate to other causes that they have. But I personally chose the education internship program. And this is also a charity that provides you with regular updates about the child that you are sponsoring. And it's just beautiful to see these children grow up to see them achieve things and to just know that your money that you let flow out, maybe even in a little bit of a selfish reason to manifest more money, but also, like I said, in a selfish selflessness way that you allow yourself to raise your vibration, you allow yourself to become better at manifesting and you provide a child in need with an amazing future, which then also makes you happy. I mean, I don't want to deny this. When I get these regular updates about the children that I sponsor, it feels amazing. It feels like I'm contributing. And this is something that I'm really passionate about. And I hope you forgive me for mentioning that. It was just important for me to let you know about this because I'm very passionate about it. And if you decide to not donate anything to these charities and to not sponsor a child there, that's totally okay. This is totally up to you. I just wanted to provide you with two charities that I support, where I sponsor children. And maybe, who knows, maybe you also want to manifest money by letting go of money, by supporting one of these charities and by maybe even sponsoring one of these children in need. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.